Hello everybody and welcome back to Everyday October. Today is day six. We have nearly made it through a whole entire week. If you are new here then hello, my name is Millie. I am posting every single day in October and today I am testing out the Beauty Bay Fiery Mattes Nine Pan Palette. I have a whole playlist dedicated to the Beauty Bay palettes. I have tested four or five of these, I think, and they're all in a playlist, so I will link that above and in the description box if you want to see that. But today is all about the Fiery Mattes Nine Pan Palette. I have swatched them all and I have created this look. At the start of this video, I literally had no idea what look I was going to create, but we've gone for this. This is what we've come up with. So if you want to see what colours I use and what I think of all of these, then just keep on watching. So I literally have no idea what I want this look to turn out like. You will have already seen on the intro what look I go for, but currently I have no idea what I even want to do, quite frankly. I know I want to play with this palette here though. This is the Beauty Bay Nine Colour Palette in Fiery Matte. Now I love these matte palettes, these nine pan palettes, because I often feel like in regular palettes there's not enough of the matte shades to properly build up the base of a look to then just use one shimmer or one glitter. I feel like those like specialised finishes in like the glitters and the shimmers and things, I feel like palettes often go overboard on those because they're sparkly and people are attracted to them. But then I struggle, as somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing, I struggle with actually building a look from that because I feel like I need more options for in the crease and on the outer corner and like under the eyes and things like that. Does that make sense? Do you agree with me on that or is that like just a me problem? Either way, a matte palette is definitely up my street. I could do so many different looks with this. There's a really beautiful, bright, intense red. There's all the like burnt orangey shades. There's chocolate, cherry cola is the name of this one on the bottom row. I'm so excited and then there's obviously also like the more neutrally ones that you could just use on my sort of skin tone, I can use those to blend anything out. So I'm going to start with the base because I know what base products I'm using and then I can do the swatches and then decide what I want to do. So starting with the base, I'm going to firstly go in with this. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. Um, and I have this in the shade 2 Fair to Light. And I'm just going to dot this all over and blend it out as I always do with a big brush. And then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Age Perfect BB Cover. I have a full review of this on my channel. I tested it last month. I will link it up here if you're interested. I really, really like it. It's definitely more full coverage than like what you would think of as a BB cream. It's still a light coverage, it is, but it is more than like just a tinted moisturiser. It's really, really pretty. So I'm using a brush, mostly because I didn't dampen my sponge <laughs> before I came and sat down and I'm not standing up again. <laughs> so while I am blending this out, leave me a comment down below. How are you doing? How has October been treating you so far? And if you're new, then leave me a comment. Say hi. I would love to start up a conversation in the comments. If you are new to my channel because of Everyday October, then welcome. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I hope I haven't driven you completely crazy yet. <laughs> And let me know if there's any like looks or videos or anything. Let me know what you want to see this month. I do need I do need a few more ideas. I'm doing double, more than double the amount of videos that I normally do, so help a girl out. <laughs> so that's all of that blended out. Obviously this looks really glowy with that elf halo glow underneath it, but this is quite a glowy base anyway. I love that one. 
for concealer and really brightening under the eyes so this is the collection lasting perfection hydrating concealer again have a whole review of this on my channel as well um, but I'm just going to keep this quite tight on the inner corner for bronzer and blusher I'm going in with two of the elf putty products so I have the bronzer in tan lines and the blusher I am using Tahiti um, so I'll put those on I feel like my lights are a bit off is that better is that worse <laughs> I'll leave it at that um, so that is the blusher and the bronzer blended out um, I will go in with a bit of powder I didn't bring one over one sec I used this one, the Revolution Pro Pressed CC Cream in Warm Beige. One of my favourites, but I haven't reached for this in a long time. And I will just tap a little bit of the MUA Bronzed Perfection Matte Powder Bronzer in Sunset Tan. I will just tap a bit of that over where we put that putty bronzer. And then with the same big brush I'll go in with the Collection Glow Blush in the shade 2 Bashful and this has a little bit of glow in it, hence the name, so this will also add a nice little bit of glow and then we'll get into the swatches. <laughs> so like I say that's what the palette is looking like inside, a really great selection of undertones and different variations on that orangey, red, chocolatey, warm, fiery shade. So I will go along and swatch each one. When I have done these swatching videos before, especially for the Beauty Bay ones, I have always always swatched the matte shades twice to really build up that colour to get an idea of how it will work. So I will do that with these. I'll do each one twice and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is all of the shades swatched out. So starting at this side we have Nothing Else which is pretty much my skin tone. This would definitely be one that I could use to blend out literally any of the other colours. Like this would be the perfect blending out shade. Then we have Sincere Cinnamon Bun which are very similar but Sincere is warmer and Cinnamon Bun looks cooler and slightly deeper but there's really not much in it between those ones. Then next along we have Pumpkin Spice which again is very similar to Sincere but Pumpkin Spice is warmer yet again. Then we have Sunset which is a true burnt orange deep warm shade. I really really like the look of that one. Then we have Carpe Diem which is a true red. That is the reddest red I've ever seen in an eyeshadow palette. Now granted it's not one that I've really looked for before a red but that come Christmas oh my goodness that will be perfect. Then we have Burnt Sienna which is a warm brown not as dark as I would say like a chocolate brown but definitely a deep dark brown beautiful beautiful shade then we have cherry cola which is actually less warm than I was expecting it to be burnt sienna as you would expect by the name is definitely warmer but cherry cola I was expecting to be warm as well but this one almost has like a purpley undertone to it it is beautiful but it's not really the sort of shade that I would have thought to have called cherry cola but that's just my own personal opinion on that and then the darkest shade at this end is called brown suede and that is a true chocolate brown but very cool toned so all of these are swatched twice, they have all been dipped in twice to build up that colour. You can see that they are matte and around some of them they are a little powdery but I have worked with the formula of these before so I know that these will blend out like a dream. Now I just need to decide what eye look I want to do with them. <laughs> 
So I will just show you the inside of the palette now that I have swatched all of those. You can see that middle one on the top row is very much softer than the rest. I don't know why, maybe that's a different kind of formula, I'm not sure, but that one seems a lot more soft when I was swatching it. Like I could tell that there was a difference in the texture of the formula. So I don't know why that would be, but I am wondering if I want to just do some sort of like gradient, like quite a simple look, but maybe with some of the cooler tones because I did do a pumpkin spice look earlier this week. So you can go and check that out if you want to see that. But I did more of a warmer, orangier look earlier this week. So I'm wondering if I should do something a little bit cooler with like cinnamon bun and brown suede, just like a simple gradient across the lid. And then if I want to add in some glitter, I can from another palette. Either way, I need to do my brows, don't I? I forgot I hadn't done those. Right, I'll be right back. Once I've done my brows, I will use the XX Revolution Faux Brow and the Wow Brow. You will get bored of me using Wow Brow this month. I can only apologise. <laughs> yes, that's better. Now I can concentrate on the eyes. Like, you know when something's throwing you off? Like, I was looking at my face and I was like, okay, yes, eyeshadow next. When do I ever do my eyeshadow before my eyebrows? Like, I feel like it just throws off my whole face when I haven't got my eyebrows on. So how am I meant to do an eye look? So I think, since I have spent so long doing my brows, I think I'm going to go in with Cinnamon Bun and Burnt Sienna sort of all over the lid. Obviously Burnt Sienna is the darker one, so that on the outer corner. And then I'll probably just tap over a little bit of one of my like e.l.f. liquid glitters or something across the middle. Something quite simple, but I feel like these shades are so intense and so pigmented that doing a look like that would put them to good use. Are you with me? Do you understand? Let's just, let's just see how it goes. So, first up, a really small fluffy brush. And I'm going to just start packing on that cinnamon bun shade on the inner corner and through the crease. So that's the start of that cinnamon bun colour. Then I'm going to go in with nothing else, that nudie shade on a big fluffy brush to blend out those edges. Oh, as suspected, that is the perfect shade for that for me. Yes, that's just soften that right down. That's beautiful. That's such a useful shade to have as well. Like I feel like these matte palettes are useful. <laughs> is that me getting boring and old? Probably, but useful is what I need. <laughs> so then, do I want burnt sienna or do I want cherry cola? I think I want cherry cola. Yeah, that, that, that like purpley undertone. It just keeps grabbing my attention. So with the big fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into that very lightly and pack that on the outer corner. And the reason I'm using this big fluffy brush and not something more specific and more precise is that because I'm just going to be using these two shades, I might use a different one under the eye. But this brush specifically, this is the LA Girl 202. I honestly just find that this brush does all of the blending for me and I love it. <laughs> and since I'm not a makeup artist, and since I don't actually know what the hell I'm doing, I have decided that I can do what I want. And again, once that colour is down, I'm going back in with that lightest shade, nothing else, and blending the edges. And I'm also going to use that lightest shade just to make sure that I'm getting this in the general sort of shape that I want. So I want this like quite winged out. I'm probably going to add a winged liner because when do I not? <laughs> I'm going to go back in with my concealer brush. Just get a little bit more concealer on the very end of it. And I'm going to just sharpen up, ugh, sharpen up that outer corner a bit. Something like that. 
I don't want it to be too sharp of a line, that's why I'm still using this big brush but I just want that cleaned up a little bit so it doesn't get too dark out here. Yes, that looks better. I'm happy with that. I think I will just tap with a small brush into the very darkest shade, brown suede, and tap that right on the outer corner, but not blend it out too much. I just want it a little bit darker out there. So I'm going to take a really small like pencil brush and I'm going to go into this brightest orange shade in the middle called Sunset and I'm going to run that under the eyes. I'm going to look up into my mirror and really, really smoke this out. That looks a little bit like demonic, doesn't it? <laughs> Quite like it though. It's the month for it, right? <laughs> And then just with a completely clean brush, not putting anything on this, I'm just running over the edge of that to blend it. I don't even want to use that light shade. I just want this to almost blend itself out. Like so. That is all blended out now under the eyes. And I am happy with that. I will just go in with a little brush. <laughs> the very first little brush that I used going into Cherry Cola and just put a little bit of that on the outer corner on the lower lash line just to darken that up a little. And then I need to decide if I want to add some glitter or not. I might just leave it as this, you know. I really like that pop of like brighter orange like the lid is more sort of subdued and then the low lash line is really orange I think that looks really cool so I'm definitely going to need some sort of waterline um, brightening with this so I will go in with the Rimmel Scandalize pencil in nude and just scribble that along because as much as it is spooky season, <laughs> I don't want to look like I'm dead. <laughs> That's not what I'm going for. So I'm going to put a wing liner on. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte liquid liner. This is the brown one. This is one of my favorites, probably my favorite liquid liner. So I will be back when I've got two sort of hopefully semi matching wings on. So I have also added mascara. I used, of course, the e.l.f. Big Mood because I wanted huge, massive lashes to like cover up most of the um, eyeshadow that we've put on. If you're new around here, then that is definitely my vibe. Uh, so for lips, I want something that's basically like my skin tone, but glossy so that the eyes are really the focal point. So I'm going in with the Revolution Pro Hydro Gloss in Tainted. And these are so pigmented. Like you wouldn't think for a gloss that they would have this much pigment, but they really, really are. I have a few shades of these and they're all like as so big, like they come out the colour that they are in the tube, they're not like one of those wishy-washy glosses that are just nothing. So I feel like I just need a little bit more blush, as always, but then I think I'm done. And that is me done. I I am always so impressed by these Beauty Bay palettes. This is the fourth or fifth one that I tested maybe even sixth, I can't remember. I have a whole playlist just for testing Beauty Bay palettes, using Beauty Bay palettes. The looks that I create only using the Beauty Bay products are all linked into one playlist. So if you want to see that, I will leave it linked above and in the description box down below. But let me know what you think of this whole look. If you have this palette and you have created some beautiful autumnal looks, then let me know like what colours I need to be using together. I'm really not good at like putting together ideas um, and like looking at a palette and knowing what colours will go together to create a look. So please leave that in the comment section down below if you have this one. But I am just so impressed. I can't wait to use that red for something like Christmas. I know we haven't had Halloween yet, but Christmas? I'm so excited. So 
If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, this is the first video of mine that you have seen, then you can subscribe down below if you want to be notified. Every single day in October, I am posting a new video. Every single day, loads of autumnal looks, testing autumnal palettes, putting together looks that are perfect for this time of year. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.